think we're going to be live. Let's do this. Let's do a little bit of a an intro type thing. And Deb's Please phone return is bubbles, ringing your in the flight background. Attendant to her fully upright and locked position. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, your seat and buckle up. Seat backs and tray tables in the full upright position. It's another episode of Skip Happens. A view from 30,000 feet. From the first music lesson to the first paid gig to signing the deal, it's the journey that is the life of an artist. Now, here's your captain and co-captain, a.k.a. your hosts, Skip Clark and Deb Lamphere. Hold on, because it's already gotten a little bit wild, everybody. Uh, uh. Is up there, of course. Uh -huh. I'm here, Skip Clark. We have a we have a really cool guest. She's young. She's got everything. She's got everything it takes to be a country star. And I think she's going to be on that road here pretty quick if she isn't already. And uh, well, you know what? I'm going to give everybody a little a little taste of this if I can just to kind of get my phone up before we actually get into the interview, Deb. I've got I've got to do this because the song Absolutely. is called Radio. Song yes. is called Radio, and working in radio, I need to do this. Absolutely. Listen to this, y'all. There was a radio in my mama's room. I used to wiggle in my cradle to leave it to you. But I couldn't stand still in my mama's high heels. My little heart was a racer like my brother's Daddy's truck and I say, please, Big Papa, won't you turn it up? You put the gas pedal down and you take us all to town. Me and Bobby McGee, yeah, that's my thing. Oh, oh, those were the glory days. R-A-D-I-O, we were singing like the Rolling Stones. I was a big rock star with my egg guitar and a hairbrush and microphone. And there we go. Wow. Woo. You know, I'm, I, I woke up a sweat listening to that. <laughs> it, you know, it, it makes you want to get up and move. Mm -hmm. Even though I couldn't get up and move, but I think in my brain I was getting up and moving. Oh. And I think that's why I'm sweating. Hey, y'all, I want you to say hi to our new friend. Uh, Sadie Lee is with us here tonight. Of course, that's her song, Radio. Hello there, young lady. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Very well, uh, as we get started, you need to tell Deb and I, and you need to tell everybody, whereabouts are you? Um, I'm up in Texas. I'm in northern Texas. Um, what's the town? What's the what's the town? What? Because I looked a, it up, and I'm going to, I've never heard of this. Yeah, it's a very small town. It's called Anna. Okay. Um, it's kind of like by, I saw y'all had a, y'all were doing a podcast with Kendall Hunt. He said he's from yes. Kendall. Yeah, it's like one city over. Oh, really? You guys know each other? Oh, yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah, awesome. No idea. What a small <laughs> world. What yeah, a small. We love Kendall. Love mm -hmm. Kendall. Awesome. Yeah, we do too. Yeah, absolutely. Tell us a little bit about you, though. I mean, how long have you been playing music uh, and what got you started? There goes Deb. She's gone. Uh, what, uh, what got you started and all that good stuff? Um, well, I've been into music like all my life. My parents are very musical and always like every night after my dad would get home from work, he'd always be listening to music. So it's always been my thing. Um, I didn't start getting like really serious about it and start like performing and stuff until I was about 12. Mm -hmm. So now I'm 15. So. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're only 15. I am. And you have that sound that, oh. <laughs> that, that that's amazing. Thank you. That is that is amazing. From somebody that's been working in country radio for a long time and playing the music, and, uh, you know, we hear all different levels of, I don't even know how to say it, you know, levels of the music and, and levels of artists. Um, you're right up there, man. I tell you, that rocks. That rocks. Had no idea you were 15. Oh. Now, here, come, <laughs> here comes Deb back. Hang on a minute. I got to click on the thing here. We can, we can welcome her back. <laughs> I have no idea where she went. Hi, Deb. Skip happens. 
It does. And it happened in the beginning. You know what? You got to get that hamster going a little bit faster on the wheel in your backyard. That's all you need to do. Uh, Sadie, so, I mean, you really haven't been playing music all that long, but you, you came out with a song like that. Um, tell us a little bit about radio. Let's start right there. Um, well, gosh. So is it true when I listen to it, you say you were in your dad's truck and you were well, listening... I didn't write the song. So. Okay. Okay. I didn't know yeah. that. No, I mean, I did not write the song, but I do feel like in a way it was like almost made for me because it's so perfect mm -hmm. and it matches, like it matches my life. Like literally everything that I'm saying about in that song is pretty much is you. my lifetime. It's yeah. Like it's, I think that song is made for me. Mm -hmm. Is that <laughs> uh, your first effort at releasing a single or putting something out? Um, Kind of, yes. Yeah. I did record a soundtrack for a movie, and I see Zeke Jeremiah's in here. He's a producer of that. Oh, very uh, cool. His movie. So, yeah. And that just, we just had the screening for that. So, that was the first recording that I did and kind of released mm -hmm. in a way, but this is my first, like, release. release. I got you. So, you're talking about a movie. I mean, you're on the soundtrack of the yes. movie? I see. And, yeah. and you sing a song in the movie? Yes, I did. It's really cool. What about uh, being an actress? Have you done any acting at all? Um, I started doing acting when I was about four, and yeah. I'm into theater and like screen acting and stuff. But it's I'm more of a singer than an actress. If that makes sense. <laughs> I know, but you could put it all together. Uh -huh. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'm not good of an actress, but stop well Maybe. you will you will become because you'll be doing videos for your music so eventually you'll get more into the acting role yeah. so it will come in time <laughs> yeah you know before we went on or yeah just before we went on i said you know sadie i'm admiring the room that you're in that is the coolest room i'm in my pod zone this is mm -hmm. like my world i'm looking at that room i'm going man my my could i do that to my ceiling can oh, i get that? yeah that, that, that <laughs> what is really that cool. what um, is it this up is there? our rehearsal studio okay so we have all of our band practices here there's everything here um, this is all our equipment. This used to be my mom's lash salon before she moved down the street. Okay. Um, so my dad built all of this. All of this is from my dad. So, wow. so yeah, your dad, Joe, and uh, a big thank you to Joe for getting a hold of me and saying, hey, I'd love to get Sadie on. And absolutely. And I listened to the music. And it was a no brainer. But uh, so dad is a musician as well. Yes, he plays a harmonica and okay. he sings, but he doesn't like to admit it. <laughs> he was in a band back then. Um, it was called Derail. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So th that must be, you must have the musical gene. Yes, for sure. Well, my entire family, my grandmother is a singer too. So on my mom's side. So it's just the whole family is musical. Now, do you get a chance to get out of Anna and maybe go to Nashville at all or go to where the music is? Um, We were planning on that. My... Mm -hmm. The guy, the man that wrote uh, radio, he yeah. was talking about going to Nashville to go record or do some fun stuff up there and just kind of check it out, you know? Yeah. Tell me about the guy that wrote radio. How do you know him? Is, is it uh, an acquaintance or how did all that come about? Oh, <laughs> so Jerry Glide Glidewell and Chad mm -hmm. wrote radio, but um, I've only met Chad Roland in person and he's an amazing guy. We met through, it's a really, really, really long story. Um, but yeah, we kind of, mm -hmm. it just all like fell into place. And That's we cool. Met, so so um, yeah. and you have never done a podcast before. I've never done a podcast. Yeah, before. you're the first. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. And uh, someday we're going to be able to go, Deb, we're going to be able to go more old and in that old folks home uh -huh. someday. Hopefully a few <laughs> years down the road, we're going to go, remember Sadie? Remember, mm -hmm. listen, I can hear her on the radio, mm -hmm. and I and she'll have a song like uh, in what we would call an A category, which would rotate about once every two hours. Mm -hmm. That's how big of a song it's going to be. Mm -hmm. That's my prediction. <laughs> um, are you you're still in school? I am, yes. And how does that come into play with what you're doing? Um, well, I used to go to regular high school, and that did not work out. Because okay. like, gigs until we'd be out until like three in the morning, coming home, and I'd be like, I can't go to school the next day. 
Like I'm like I love my sleep too much to be able mm-hmm. to wake up that early and go to school. So we decided to switch to homeschool about two months ago, and it's been working out really good. Oh wow! You know, it it has to help having a dad that's a musician. Because I don't think many parents would say, you know, it's okay that you stay out till two or three in the morning, you come home from the gig. And then, you know, I think your dad being, you know, knowing what the business is about, Mm -hmm. accepts that. A lot of parents would not. No, yeah, for sure. I'm very thankful for my parents being very supportive. Mm -hmm. I can tell. So who actually homeschools you? Do you have teachers come in or your parents? Um, I homeschool myself. You do? I do. Wow. You are dedicated. <laughs> How many students do you know, Skip, that would actually be homeschooling themselves? Uh, and would really many. be serious about doing that. <laughs> yeah, not many. Not, many. not many. So do you have plans in the future to maybe just kind of say, hey, Dad, come on, we're going to go to Nashville. We're going to spend some time there. Um, yeah, I do. Yeah. I really want to go up there, not only just like to record or do any of that, just because I like... I like going around places and stuff. I don't like staying in one spot for so long. You know, I feel mm. like it'd be like a fun vacation, a fun experience to you know, I, go. Yeah, I, I need to ask you this. Mm-hmm. If you could collaborate with anybody, who would that be? Oh, wow. Dang, that's it, so you know, I mean, you must listen to the radio. You, you know what kind of music you like, obviously. I'm, I'm loving what I'm hearing. Mm-hmm. Who would you like to do that with? <sighs> Dang. Tough one. Yeah. I'd probably say probably Billy Eilish. Cool. Yeah, that's different. I'd love it. And Billy, um, very unique, does things her way. And look at her. She's done very well. Yeah. Is that, is she like, obviously she's one of your idols then. Yes. Uh, more or less. And then, uh, I mean, who else, when it comes to country artists, do you like to uh, actually that you follow or, you know, you kind of watch what they do? Um, a lot of Gretchen Wilson, Shania Twain. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, Patsy Cline. Just like See, oldies. Oh, I like that. I love that. Not love many that. Uh, young people of your age or your generation really know some of the really know or follow the older country artists i guess what like 90s country right skip yeah and well i mean it's going back even further yeah. than that yeah gretchen and oh, shania patsy. but yeah. you got patsy who uh mm-hmm. one of the best voices of all time and we lost her way too young but uh mm-hmm. wow you know crazy and walking after midnight and all those great songs My <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. but you know i think a lot of that is because of your surroundings where you are you're in texas Texas actually has its own music chart. They have their, you know, we call it Texas country. You got Cody Johnson, people like that, artists like that. That, And now look at them. They are like, you know, just super. You know, Kojo, look at him now. Just unbelievable. Started out playing at the rodeo. And now look at him. Yeah. Have you had any opportunities to, to play at a place like the rodeo or any place like that? Um... No, I don't think so. No, uh, not yet. But you hopefully, will. Hopefully, hopefully soon. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. very cool. Tell us, uh, tell Deb and I a little bit about your band. Um. Well, dang, this all kind of came about. It started with I was doing karaoke down at some pizza parlor down the street from our house, and then mm-hmm. one of my mom's clients came about, and she was like oh, let's go up to 1880, it's up in Denison, and they have open mic there, so I went and I sang with that band, the house band there, and it was just, we all clicked so well, and like, everything, like, I had never practiced with them ever before, I was just like, hey, Uh you know this song, like, let's play it, and everything just like, it wasn't perfect, but it felt perfect, and since then, we've kind of just like, stuck, and yeah. Yeah, and how often do you get together with these guys? Um, pretty much when we have performances, mm-hmm. or every Thursday night for an open mic. All right. So what um what grade are you in? Being fifteen, so I uh, kind of. <laughs> I'm a freshman. I'm supposed okay. to be a sophomore, but we don't talk about it. 
No, no, that's okay. <laughs> hey, it's okay. You get there when you uh, get there. Uh, I'm going to tell you soon. There's no uh, rush. I can relate. Okay. Back in the day, I can relate. That's all there is to it. But uh, so where do you see yourself in five years? Dang. Um, well, I definitely hope that I'm more out there mm -hmm. than I am right now. Um, I hope that I can be able to touch more people than I am at the moment. And probably I want to tour around the U.S., yeah, mm, I love it, and I get you know I you, you talk about Shania, and she's kind of making somewhat of a comeback. I'm seeing her more now, different shows. I mean, Vegas, all that, all that's going on. Have you ever seen her in concert? No, I've only been to one concert, and that was when I was like four, and I was watching the Wiggles. <laughs> what was it? Oh, the Wiggles. The Wiggles. Yeah. Oh Wiggles. my gosh. I love the Wiggles, still to this yes. day, my favorite. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Wiggles. Mm -hmm. Man, so, are they so still that's... around? I think so, but it's different people now, so it's not that yeah. yeah, yeah. And those guys were so multi-talented. <laughs> Everything that they did. I mean, I, th that's great that you did watch them and you liked them because their way of entertaining and singing and, and just the emotions, and that's what music is all about in country. What we do, it's all about that emotion. Mm-hmm. You know, so I was thinking that as an artist, because this is something we probably we really don't ask this question, but just dawned on me as an artist, you're out there working on your own career and your own profession. How often do you get to get out and see your favorite artists perform? So oh. you probably don't get out that often or you said you've been to just the one concert, right? Yes, I've only ever been to the Wiggles concert. Um, I mean, we usually go out sometimes here and there, but mm -hmm. honestly, I really don't like going out. Like, I'm very, like, <laughs> I'm kind of lazy. So I like to sit in <laughs> bed all day or just, like, be on my phone and, like, chill out in my room. Like, that's my happy place, my bedroom. Oh, I hear you. So, yeah. I don't know. This, I really just don't like going out that much. So here and there we'll go out and go watch, like, friends of ours or like you know other musicians play um but i've never seen like a famous like ah. one of my favorites. is that a desire would you like to do that at some point yes. get out okay because i say you know some people it's just not their thing and that's okay but yeah. uh you can also learn from those performances as well for sure absolutely absolutely what about siblings I have four older brothers. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Is that good or bad? <laughs> um, it's it's good. It's it's all it's all right, I guess. <laughs> I love them with all well, my heart. Are you are you the baby of the family? Um, practically yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So are you? So you? It's only you and four brothers. Uh yes. Yeah. Do they pick on you? <laughs> um. My oldest brother, he does. He's a really, he's a jerk. <laughs> he's a, he's a, he may be a jerk, but you love him because he's your brother. Yeah. And believe me, if he would back you up in a second. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody ever, you know, was doing whatever, picking on you, you know, he's going to yeah. come and mm -hmm. save your ass. Oh, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if they are, he's just, he always has to start trouble with someone. Like, I can never mm -hmm. bring guys around without him, like, picking on them. Of course. That's his <laughs> job, though. That's yeah, his it's Stay it's his job in your age, and it, it's yeah. just that's the way it is. Yeah, and, and yeah. that means he loves you. That means they love you. They've got to be very proud of what you're doing. I mean, we listen to this on on YouTube. I listen to the music, and I know you're going to drop another song here rather quickly. Yes, on Friday it drops. Wait a minute. Wait. Well, Friday's the thirteenth. You want to do it on Friday the thirteenth? Yes. Okay. So I have this plan. Okay. So radio released on April first. So that's kind of like a day that like everyone knows. And I was thinking, well, what's another day that a lot of people know? And I was like, well, what about Friday the 13th? Kind of risky, but I feel like you would just match what I'm trying to do here, you know? And cool. what's the name of that new song coming out? It's called What Sadie Wants. Ooh. What Sadie write... Wants. Did you write that one? Okay. Yeah. 
I am not a writer. I don't I don't write music. So I get all of my music from Chad Rowland and Jerry Gladwell or Amy Johnson. Oh. All right, so, but you hang with these people so they know and they'll say, okay, we're going to write this, but we want you to sing it. Um, well, actually, all these songs were already written before okay. I had met Chad. And he kind of just um, pitched them all to me. At first, he pitched like five songs live and the first song was radio. And I was like, that's it. That's the song. And then uh, about a month later, I went over to his house and I was there probably for like five hours. He's pitching me at least like, I think I have like 60 songs. Wow. Pitched to me. So, yeah. Wow. So, so can I, can I ask a question? Can you explain this process a little bit when somebody pitches 60 songs to you? Do you, mm -hmm. are you listening to the demos or are you actually going through and singing a little bit of each of these songs to see what clicks with you? Just the demos. Okay. Yeah. So. She's got to like it if she's going to sing it. Oh yeah. <laughs> because then it's well, just, know. you know. It's just a lot of music to have to go through and then yeah. figure out what works for you. Yeah, it was a lot. I was like, dang, my ears are hurting now because I was listening to so much music <laughs> that day. It was all so great, though. He's such a good songwriter. Him, mm -hmm. Eric Gladwell, and um, Amy Johnson, they're, they're very awesome. And they're, they're all there with you in Texas? Um, I think, yeah, I think Jerry Gladwell's out here, too. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. What uh, what instruments do you play, if any? None. My voice. I didn't think so. Your <laughs> voice. Your voice is your instrument, and there's nothing wrong with that. I didn't know if you picked up a guitar and played that every once in a while. That's why I asked. Um, I do piano here and there, but it's okay. not. I would never do it live, I don't think. I mean, mm -hmm. never say never, but I don't think I ever will. <laughs> Uh, well, you got a voice. Like I said, that's uh, uh -huh. that's definitely your instrument. Are you old enough to drive in Texas? Um, I should have my permit by now. So, yes, I am. But, um, yeah, we're working on that. No hurry, though. Uh, yes, a hurry. Yes, 100%. <laughs> in her eyes, there's a hurry, Skip. But in the parents' <laughs> eyes, I would say no hurry. Well, well, ask my Joe. parents actually want me to hurry up and drive because when we get back, like from performances that I have, they're always drinking, and obviously I'm the only sober one. So yeah, that, that's <laughs> I mean, true. It would be easier for me to drive late at night, you know. Yes, I absolutely, agree. absolutely, totally agree with that. Totally agree. So, I mean, even though you're homeschooled, what about uh, you know fellow students or people you know from school? What do they think about you doing what you're doing? Are they they're like, wow, she's so good. She's going to be a star. And, you know, Sadie, you know, what what's that relationship like with friends? Well, with my friends, they're very, very supportive. Cool. And they do. Yeah, they do think that I'm going to make it. But I hope I do. I really do. That's my top goal. You, you know, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. You know what they say? Like, if you go to Nashville, it's at mm -hmm. least a 10 year town. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, because there's so many people, and there there's a lot of good ones, and there's a lot of real bad ones. But it, you've got to you got to get there and just take every day at a time and do your right. best and perform <laughs> out, and hopefully you're in the right yeah. place at the right time, and somebody sees you and they say, "Hey, we like to chat with you." And uh, I mean, I I know we both know a lot of people in Nashville, and and they will tell you that. Don't get sure. discouraged. Always remember Nashville is like a 10 year town sure. and uh, just it, it doesn't happen overnight. And now I'm going to tell you from from what I know and some friends that have been through this, if it happens overnight, it's not going to last. Yes. You, I don't know if you've ever noticed those artists that are instant, uh, you know, success stories. And then it's like, whatever happened to them? What happened? Yeah. You know, they fell right off the charts. Mm -hmm. But it's those. You take like Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw, for a fact, was in Nashville 13 to 14 years before he had his big song, his very first song. So it, it takes it takes a little bit of time. But, yeah. but you get to know people. You get to network. You get to write. You learn, you, even though you're not going to be much, you know, doing a lot of writing, but you're still yeah. with those people. Mm -hmm. and, and you get to know each other. Well, you never know. Things evolve, too, where you might not be writing now, but as you get to know people and you're invited, you'll get invited to a write. You'll get invited to a session and maybe you'll throw in a sentence or two or something. And you may actually grow to like that side of the business, too. So it's a whole new business world out there. And 10 years. Geez, you're so young. You got plenty of time. Geez. Sadie, look at that. You'll only be 25. Yeah. I know. That's and that's crazy. still young. 
Yeah, it is. <laughs> wow. wow. Take advantage of that clock. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, what, did, what do you do when you're not doing music? Do you play sports at all? Do you go for a walk? You just kind of stay. <laughs> so, Hangs yeah, out and gonna... plays on her phone. You know, I know. And TikTok. what? I, so if you're playing on your phone, is it TikTok? Are you big into TikTok? Because that that's that's a big plus if you are. Yes, TikTok. TikTok, TikTok is the hottest thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I actually used to do karate. And I'm still okay. trying to like get back into that because I still, I need to finish um, I started this when I was four and I'm almost a black belt. My next test oh, wow. is a black belt test. So I'm trying to get back into that, but it's all the way in Cali. So it kind of sucks. I'd have to fly out there for a few months, but. Yeah. It's in Cali, you said? California? Yes. I'm from California. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, and how long, when did you move to Texas? 2013. Oh, okay. Really not that long ago. Wow. Oh, yeah. it you feels to get like your black belt in Texas. Yeah, it's just different because, like, if I do if I do it out here, then I have to do it over Zoom. And, like, since I've been doing this for more than 10 years, it's, like, such a special experience for me. So I want to be able to experience it normally because all my friends that I had back there, they're already, like, fifth-degree black belts. And I'm like, man, I could have been there, you know? It's quite but, the accomplishment, though. Mm -hmm. that That's pretty cool. And it's great exercise. And also... It's like self-defense yes. and being a, a beautiful young lady. It's good to know. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Sure. So. It is. Wow. It's just amazing. Your whole story. What kind of, uh, what advice would you give to somebody your age that wants to do what you're doing? Um, dang. um to not. Okay. So, it's like a tough question. I know it's like, yeah, when you get discouraged, don't, don't feed into that because this business is very, very discouraging. And there's a lot of times where I've kind of like quit a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And there's a time I quit for, I think about, I don't even know, almost a year. Oh, wow. And I was like, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. Like I'm going to college. I'm going to do all this stuff and I'm going to do something else. And like, I don't know. It was just so like almost depressing to me after like not doing music for a while. Cause it's so music is a big part of my life. So if someone definitely feels like they want to do music for their career in the future, keep going for it. Like don't ever, don't ever stop no matter what. And, and that is so true because there are a lot of negative people. Yes. And you just got to learn to say, uh, you know what? So what I'm better yeah. than that. I'm better than that. So, yeah. You mentioned college. Is that still in the uh, in the no. plans? <laughs> no, I did. I wanted to go to ASU. That was my big dream. Okay. But I think most of it was just I just wanted to party, you know. But I'm getting I'm getting the partying in by like doing concerts and stuff like that. Yes. So it's it's better. It's better than college. Good yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, how does uh, like uh, your dad is he he wants you to do what you want to do and he's not going to force you to do anything, I hope. So, um, no, 100 percent. I mean, cool. if I did end up quit singing, which I never would, but if I did, he would be a little upset because all the money that he's put into this. Yes. Because he really they my parents both they do believe in me a lot. So that's awesome. Yeah. God bless them and God bless you because that that's a big thing right there to have the backing of your family and somebody, especially your age and your mom and dad giving you their blessing to do what you want to do. Sure. That's awesome. That's awesome. Does you said your dad, does he play instruments? Yes. He plays harmonica. Oh, so does he play in your band at all? Um, when I ask him to, like when I force him to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so not a regular um, part of your band. No. Okay. No, he's not. I mean, sometimes here and there we'll be like performing. I'm like, oh, I'll invite my dad up to the stage for like kerosene or something. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Is um, kerosene one of your favorite covers to do? I could see you doing that. Listening to, to radio and that type of music and then the song kerosene. Um, it's a good song. Yeah. I mean, I don't really have a favorite. Like, okay. I don't have a favorite anything. Like, that's the worst question. Whenever people ask me, do you have a favorite, like, food, favorite something? I'm like, I don't. I never mm -hmm. have a favorite. So that's that's a hard one. 
you know, you're the first person that I've heard that. And I totally agree with you doing what I do in the radio. I have people come up and say, what's your favorite song? And I'd be like, you know, I, I don't really have a favorite. Bless you. Uh, they, they're all good. They're all good. Yeah. I like one as much as I like the other. Yeah. You know, that that's the way I am. So I really don't have a favorite. Mm -hmm. They're all good. For sure. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. What uh, what do you think is your most useless talent? Um, ooh. I know oh, these questions are pretty heavy. <laughs> <laughs> um, talent. I don't. I don't know. Like, I don't really know any other talent that I have other than singing. Yeah. Well, and that's a good talent. So it's pretty uh -huh. awesome. Pretty awesome. I bet you your father would give me one. So well, uh, she can't do this. Probably. Oh, dancing for sure. I can't. Yeah. Do there you go. That's one thing. I'm the worst dancer. <laughs> I'm with you there. I have two left feet. <laughs> oh my gosh, me too. Absolutely. Not How sure. did um, so the pandemic here back in uh, what 2020 when it when the world shut down? How did it affect uh, everything that you did? Obviously, you couldn't go out and play, correct? Uh, yeah. That was, I had to suck. It did suck. That was when I was starting to like pick up more and start performing out more and stuff like that. And I had like all these gigs in front of me and then pandemic hit and I was Damn. like, dang. But mm -hmm. I mean, school wise, I was already doing homeschool back then. So right, right. that's what it mattered to me. Everyone's like, this is so weird. I'm like, it's a normal day for me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Were you able to work on your music a little bit, get in the studio there and uh, play? Uh, and No, I didn't know about the studio that I record at. Oh, okay back then so it was kind of just gotcha. you know yeah. do karaoke i did some quarantine karaoke i don't know if you've heard of that so oh yeah no i know it i yeah. i've heard of it and yeah. i see it a lot online so it's, that was it's, my it's, thing like every night we do that cool. mm -hmm. do you know how many people have been noticed though by doing a karaoke song or uh, I think back in the day, Kane Brown was just doing stuff on YouTube and now look at him. He's a superstar. Um, mm -hmm. Just doing that kind of stuff just really, really helped. Really yeah. helped. Yeah. yeah. It's great. It's, you know, it, it's great chatting with you and, uh, you know, this and being your first podcast and getting to know you a little bit. Um, I just I'm blown away by by your talent. Uh, I'm so glad that your dad reached out. And of course, Kendall, we have a friend in common and uh, she was awesome or he was awesome. So it was uh, just, just, it's, it's so cool. So cool. So cool. And you got the song coming out on May 13th. If somebody wanted to get it, I mean, is it on all the socials or how can they get your music? Um, well, I think on my Instagram, my Facebook, we have the link for the pre-save. Okay. And when it releases, it's going to be on um, Spotify, Apple Music, some app called Musy, I think. My oh, Amazon yeah. And the, it's on there. Um, I think Amazon Music, YouTube. It's on Snapchat because they have, like, music on Snapchat now. Yeah. No, they do. Oh, that's a new one. I'll have to explore that. Yeah, yeah. It's a new update. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, it's just amazing what social media is becoming. Yeah. Just that, you know, certain things will let you do the music and other things will not. But, uh, I mean, there's a platform for, for just about anything you want. Yeah. So, you know, I'm still kind of in my age. I'm kind of learning. I have my son show me a lot of stuff. But uh, yeah. me too. I like. Oh, I'm come really on. You're 15. On come no, on. It's the weirdest thing because, like, I don't really know how to work technology. Like, I'm really bad at this stuff. Which, it's just uh, too much. Yeah. 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 I just don't want to take the time to learn another thing. Yeah. <laughs> what about? Kind of... Yeah. Do you get a chance to sit down and edit the music <laughs> that you record? No. Um, okay. Well, I go up and record up in uh, Denison. It's called Split Window Studios. Okay. Uh, Chris, so they do all the work. They have yeah. somebody. Behind Chris Rowan does everything. He's so awesome. I think he's in here right now. It says his name, but that's that's. Oh, I see him. Yep. Kendall's uh, on there it's too, Scott. You're in trouble, by the way. Who? Who's on there? Oh, Kendall's Kendall. On. Oh, hi, Kendall. Oh boy! Yeah, you're in trouble. Do you read his message? Uh, what did I say? What? It, what? I thought I said it. <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're, Kendall, we're I'll off take of care of him for you. I will definitely be giving him a lecture when we get off tonight. <laughs> Love, Kendall. Uh, still waiting for the mug. 
It's the United States Postal Service. I'm just sure. saying. Uh, and what what I do is, Kendall, I send all my guests a Skip Happens mug, so you don't forget about us. Mm-hmm. And uh, being being our your first mm-hmm. podcast, mm-hmm. I might have to send you two one for your dad. So Ooh. there you go. There you go. Kendall, it's it's been great chatting with you here tonight. Kendall, did I call you Kendall? Kendall. Sadie. 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 Jeez. (laughs) See, I'm looking at Kendall's thing. I can take my glasses off, maybe. maybe Uh, but uh Sadie, it's it's been chatting with you tonight. Sadie Lee, I think down the road, this is gonna you're gonna be a household name. You just Mm -hmm. think positive, hold your head high. You got the backing of your mom and dad. You've got the talent, you know what you want out of life. So that that's pretty cool. Is there anything you'd like to add before we say goodnight? Um, buy my music. So, <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. Go listen to what Sadie wants. Um, mm-hmm. We're going to be releasing another single. It's a Billie Eilish cover with a music video within the next few months. And we're recording two more songs. So definitely stay tuned. Wow, you're busy. Very good. Yeah, very cool. Have you ever, uh, you know, before we say goodbye, have you ever thought about some of those shows like The Voice or American Idol or any of those, or would you rather just stay away? Um, that was actually like my dream when I was younger, but I've heard now that like it's not because I don't know, it's not like a very good route to take. I would get, I yeah. I really don't <laughs> know, obviously, but I, I we we talked to a lot of artists that have gone down that road. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they've actually done very well. And yeah. we've well, heard both sides. Yeah, it's definitely, I did hear that they do take a percentage of your money. Um, <sighs> that would piss me off. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd just rather kind of ride it. Yeah. Do your mm-hmm. own thing. Do your yeah. own thing. Yeah, it's your business. That's what. Yeah. Absolutely. You get to create it how you would like to have it created. So. Sadie Lee, do, do you have a, a website yet? Um, I don't think so. All right, it's under construction. Yes, my dad needs to get on it. Uh, come on, Joe. <laughs> For real, I know he's watching this. <laughs> uh, I saw him there a moment ago. Maybe he walked out. So, yeah, no, no that's cool. That's cool. That's uh, definitely that. That'll be a plus. But you know what? Even the website is one thing. Doing the social media thing is even mm-hmm. bigger. So yeah. if you're on TikTok, girl, you got it made. So. Mm-hmm. You know, just keep doing what you're doing. Sadie, it's been awesome for you to come on and spend some time with Deb and I here tonight and Skip Happens. And, uh, you know, it's just, we just love it. Love talking to the new artist and finding out what your journey's like and how you feel about certain things. And, you know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty mm-hmm. cool. Awesome. Yeah, we wish you much success. Thank and uh, we're always here. And uh, here again, uh, if... You are watching this. Uh, Sadie Lee is her name. And uh, definitely Google her and uh, follow her on TikTok and uh, watch for the new song that's going to drop on the 13th, uh, which is pretty cool. Friday the 13th. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess it all depends what you believe in. But mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little scared for that one, but I think we'll be good. Uh, You're it'll awesome. all be good. Yes. <laughs> all right, Sadie, thanks for joining us here tonight on Skip <laughs> Happens. Love chatting with you. Love chatting with awesome. you. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, We're going to sign off, but stay right there. And uh, again, thank you, everybody, for watching. It's Skip Happens. Make sure you give us a like online. You go to YouTube. Subscribe to Skip Happens on YouTube. You'll see a lot of the the new and up and coming artists. You see a lot of well-established artists. For example, Matt Stell is going to be on with us tomorrow night. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And I know down the road, Scotty McCreary is coming on with us. Also, we've got low cash in the works and other big artists. So Deb and I will have them here on Skip Happens, just like we have Sadie. You're in that. You're with them now. See that? Uh How cool is that? Mm. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Deb's got some digits she wants to tell you (laughs) online. The official Country Music Fan Club. So you follow us on Facebook. We'll follow you right back and on Instagram. And when you have some new music out, we'll push it out to all of our members. So we'll get you some uh, new fans out there. And we look forward to hearing from you and all your future projects. You know what I love that she does, Sadie? She does a new music Friday. Yeah, she, I she wrote it down. Yeah. Her, yeah, she puts them all on there on the Country Music Fan Club page. Everybody mm-hmm. can listen to the music. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. We it like to awesome. focus on the new artists. So we'll definitely yeah. get you out there. All right, Sadie. We love you. Say hi to, say hi to your dad for me. And uh, thank you. Thanks you for thank you for joining us here tonight on Skip Happens.
Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Good night.